struggling with your eating disorder. I, I can't begin to imagine on top of that, stepping into the global spotlight not soon after with the Harry Potter films. Why was it important for you to reveal as much as you did? I felt my story was turned into this like uh, fairy tale, really, this idea of, wow, you struggled with this problem and then you got Harry Potter and things kind of worked out. And I, it was so important because I felt it did my story a disservice, you know, to say it was that simple. And I also felt it didn't honor what other people are going through their journeys. And there was two years between physical recovery and then getting the role in Harry Potter. What an interesting necklace. It's a charm, actually. Keeps away the narcos. Though she had physically recovered from her eating disorder when she shot to fame with her first acting role in 2007's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Ivana still had feelings of self-loathing. So when she was viciously cyberbullied, Ivana joined in on the hateful comments trolling herself. You got to the insults first, nothing that you know the public could say would hurt you, which is really just mind blowing to think about because you were so young. I was addicted to the negative thinking, always feeling like if I can be my biggest bully, then I'm safe. Nobody's words will really hurt me. And I was embarrassed to be doing this, but it also was this sense of like taking back the power. Can you stand right there and just turn to the right? And I suppose the most revelation that was like hardest to kind of share was admitting that like on some days I still really struggle with having a body <laughs> and um, I still really struggle with self-hate. I don't think anyone has it all figured out or even if they've recovered. You've been through so much. How are you now? Yeah, I'm good. And I really realized like, well, I haven't had any sort of breakdown in so long. And I think it's because like this book is about choosing creativity over self-destruction. Maybe I'll be sad for an afternoon, but there's always other creatives who are bringing me back into the light. And I think that's what keeps me going.